everybody, it's Rosemary. And today I thought what I'd like to talk to you about is old quilt. Um, do so, you sometimes when you're in between a sewing project or a knitting project just like to curl up with a good book? I do. I've always really enjoyed reading and lately I have, become, I have um, discovered these books. They're called Cozy Mysteries and they all have to do with uh, sewers who also solve mysteries. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of different ones out there. I'm sure there's even more that I haven't even discovered yet. But this one is put up by Guidepost and it's called Patchwork Mysteries. And it's about a lady who restores quilts and she also solves mysteries. And then this is another one that's by a lady called Carol Dean Jones. There's an entire series of these. She's a quilter and she's she also solves the mysteries so i just think they're really fun they're easy reads you can get through them pretty fast and i've just really enjoyed reading them and this one in particular um has to do with um a lady in the book and one of the things i really like about these books is these are older women like us um so they have friends that are older it's it's basically makes you feel like you're not, your life isn't over. There's a lot more in store for you. Um, both of the ladies in both of these book series are widows. and I'm a widow. Um, so, you know, you feel like you can relate, except for, of course, I don't solve mysteries, but um, I do quilt. <laughs> so anyway, um, this book is called Tattered and Torn, and it has to do with her coming across a very old quilt. This called a hexagon quilt, or grandmother's garden and the book in the the quilt in the book has to do with a civil war quilt but as you read more about it you start finding out that these quilts were very popular in the civil war days but also again there was a resurgence of them in the 30s and a lot of people made them and I think it had a lot to do with just trying to be frugal make ends meet and use those little tiny scraps up that you had and most of the time a hexagon quilt was done by hand um, I don't sew by hand by any means whatsoever except for when I'm making one of my dolls. So um, I just kind of almost became enthralled with the idea of old quilts and I started doing a little bit of research about it and I started thinking I really wanted to make a hexagon quilt. But as I googled it and started looking into it, almost all of the people who tell you how to make a hexagon quilt tell you to do it by hand. I'm not making a quilt by hand. But I did run across Oh, before I even get to that, I want to show you this absolutely beautiful quilt. This quilt is made by my friend Gail's husband's great-grandmother. Is that right, Gail? I hope I got it right. Um, but it is. It's, it's a hexagon quilt. It's a grandmother's garden, and it has been done completely and totally by hand. And I'm going to take a, a picture of it and show you a full picture of it so you can see what a beautiful quilt this is. Um, and I, I would like to quilt it on our long arm at work. I know, I know, I know, but there's a whole lot of people out there go, you can't take a hundred year old quilt and quilt it. But then I think about it, the artist who made this quilt wanted it to be used. They wanted it to be wrapped around um, their grandchildren on a cold winter day, not to be set in a cedar chest somewhere and waiting for someone to finally get around to hand so, uh, quilting it. So um, I've talked to Gail and I think we are definitely going to put it on the long arm and finish it up and put some binding on it and actually have it used um, because it is just too pretty to be sitting in somebody's cedar chest somewhere. Um, so back to what I was saying was I was Googling um, the hexagon quilt and I did run across a video by Jenny Doan of Missouri Star Quilt where she used a process of using a, hex, a half hexi ruler and making it on the sewing machine. And it went up so fast, I just loved it. And I wanted to share it with you. So I'm gonna go to my cutting table and I'm gonna show you exactly how I put that quilt together. Okay, let me see if I can show you how I did this. To start with, Look at these fabrics. Aren't they really cute? I bought these online. They're a 30s reproduction fabric. So they're supposed to look like the fabrics that um, our grandmother sewed with uh, in the 30s. And I thought that would make a really cute um, hexagon quilt. So that's what I got. And this is the, um, the half hexi ruler that I showed you a minute ago. That's what we're gonna use. Um, I did buy this, these fabrics in a layer cake, 10 inch squares, and it says 
um, on the ruler to use five inch squares. So I cut these into five inch squares. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold them in half like this and crease them. And then I'm gonna lay this half hexy ruler so that the smaller end is right on the fold here. And now I see that fits on there just perfectly. I'm gonna hold it down and cut one side, cut this side and cut this side. We'll get those out of the way. And then I'll turn it around like this. And I'll put this right on that cut. And then I just have to cut this side and this side. Okay. So now I can open this up kind of looks like a little butterfly. And then I'm gonna use the straight edge of this right here on that fold, and I'm gonna cut this in half. So that's how I got all my hexes, half hexes, and you can see I have a whole stack of them here in different colors that I've cut. I usually try and cut a whole bunch of them at once. Then I am going to take um, a white square, and I'm going to do the same thing I'm gonna fold it in half, lay this on here, cut here, here, here. Here, here, okay. Now, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna cut it in half But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of these, lay them on top of each other like this, and fold those in half. And I'm gonna finger press them. And then open them back up again. So I can see that fold that I just made. Lay my straight ruler on there and cut that in half. So I need a whole bunch of these as well in order to make what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just kind of play around with this a little bit. Let's, we're gonna put two here and we're gonna put two here Let's do blue I kind of just look at it and see if it looks good to me. There's two of those, and I've got another blue, so let's put the blue over here so they're not right up against each other. And let's see, here's a pink. One here and one here. Oops, that's not right. What am I doing? Oh, let's do one here and one here, and then one here. and one here. And then, I don't know if I would put two greens together like this, but that's what I have cut right now. So I might have to go back and cut another color for that one right there, but you get the idea. So you're gonna put those and make that hexagon flower, and then you're gonna add these. So we're gonna put one here, and one here, one here, and one here, one here, and one here. Let's see, one here, and one here. Okay, so I got those. So now I need something to fill in here. And what I did was I cut a long piece that was six inches long, and then I used the hexi ruler, and I just put it right there and cut right there. So I had a long piece with the right edge. And then so I can put one here, and one here, and one here, and one here. See how nice that comes out? 
it's great. And now I'm gonna sew these in rows instead of having to sew the, the angles and the Y seams and everything. So I'm gonna start with this one, this one, and this one, and I'm gonna sew those together. And then I'm going to do, let's move those up, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm gonna sew those together, and then I'm gonna put the whole thing together. So anyway, when I, I'm gonna move all of these out of the way, and I'm gonna show you one of my finished squares. Isn't that pretty? See how well it goes together? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew them together with some sashing, which I'll, I have to go and do get that finished and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm back and um, I have got this top almost completely finished and I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because this is also a quilt that I'm gonna show in my October So Fun. So I'm just giving you a little sneak peek of what it's gonna look like, but I thought it came out really cute. It's definitely not your standard grandmother's garden. My flowers are pretty big. And I actually have a pattern for another quilt that's done with octagon half square, no, not octagons, <laughs> with half square hexes that make flowers and they're really big. So you'll have to come and see me do that in October because I'm not going to do it with um, the 30s reproduction fabric, but I'm going to do it with some more modern autumn colored fabrics because my so fun is going to be in October. That's October 2022. So if you um, live in the Denver area, I really would recommend that you come see me do it because I think I'm going to have a lot of really great projects to show you. But um, this, anyway, I haven't put sashing on this yet, and I'm kind of watching some more videos trying to see some kind of a really cool sashing I do with the scraps that are left over from the squares that I cut. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like when it's all done. But for the most part, I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's a really pretty quilt. It's not going to be big. It's probably a lap size not much bigger than that but it's going to be a nice fun quilt to have and who knows what will it, where it'll end up in the end <laughs> but um i hope you had a lot of fun watching this video i hope you learned a little bit about something that how easy it is to dive into quilting and how fun it is to kind of look into our past quilts have been around a long time it's a way that women show love it's a way that we learn to socialize with each other and be able to get together and sew and talk and just um, enjoy each other's company and i think we're coming around back to that again where we just like to come to classes and talk and enjoy each other's company and work on our quilts at the same time um, if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye